I think we can start. Good morning, grade four, to the last lesson of Algorithms and Coding, lesson number 15. And today we are going to complete, have this complete program everything will be done. It's all thumbs. Right, so we'll, yesterday we basically did our game. We started with Ben and, and Bear are going to run around the screen um, playing a game and we're going to fix that program, finish it, and then we'll let the learners, certificates won't be handed out now, but and this afternoon we will uh, basically have the certificates at quarter past two, you log in online, uh, you will get the Zoom link, and then you can uh, join that meeting and then you'll get the certificates and we'll have talks and it'll be quite fun. But remember, it's quarter past two that it starts, not at uh, three, not at half past two, it's quarter past two. Okay, Haji, I have to work very, very fast. So if you have a, an important question only, right? So I'm going to ask you to unmute. Teacher, yes, um, who, who, who is going to share screen? I said half past 10. I will let you know, okay? So pay attention because we have to work very fast now on our lesson so we can finish Bear and um, Ben having their run around on the screen. Right, um, Nawazi, is Nawazi in the room? I don't know if she's in the room. Oh, Nawazi's not here. Okay. Right, um, so there's our screen. This is where we left off. We had this awesome background over here where we have, we're going to have Ben chasing Bear, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Ben's going to chase Bear. Bear's going to run around. How are we going to make him run around? So we let off, we hid all the other animals. We did hide and then we, we um, imported a backdrop using our little, a new backdrop using this choose a backdrop. So we got that done. So we went to outdoors and I chose this uh, soccer field, a playing field. Okay, playing. What, you know, do we going to play? All right, so we did that. And now we'll see if we click on backdrop over here, we'll see that the backdrops are situated here. We'll see them all. Can you see that? Those are all our backdrops. We've got one that's got nothing. We've got a grid, which we're not going to use. We've got this one, which we used in the first lesson to put the animals on. We've got this one, which we're using all the time. And then we had the playing field, and that is where we are. Somebody suggested let's make the animals larger, so I'm going to do that quickly. So we'll make, actually, no, do I have to make them larger? Okay, fine, I'll make them larger. No, I don't want to make them larger because then they're going to bump into each other too much. Don't worry, I'll make the screen larger so you can see. Um, before we go carry on, we're on our backdrops. We have to realize that this picture, this backdrop that we chose, has got like a fence over there. We don't want Ben and Bear to go past the fence. You know, they're going to go up like that and they might go up like that. We don't want them to do that. So what are we going to do? We're going to draw a line. I'm going to make it a red line. Okay, we're going to draw a line on the around the fence so that um, Bear and Ben don't go past that line. We don't want Bear and Ben to go past the line. All right, so let's draw the line. I'm going to use my brush and I'm going to choose red. Let's hope color it's actually, that's color 100. See, the colors have numbers, eh? Oh, no, they don't. Sorry, my bad. <clears throat> but basically, we're going to choose a color for when Ben touches the color or when Bear touches the color, we're going to make sure that they bounce off. They go somewhere else. So I'm going to draw a color line. So I've got my color. See, I chose it. Okay. And then I'm going to take this and draw a line around the fence. 
I know it's not a very straight line, but anyway, at least it's a line there. Eh? Oops. Okay, so there's a line. I'm not very good at drawing, but that's what we're going to do. Now, I hope that's an important question, sweetheart. Yes, Lavi. Teacher, you can use the um, line. Oh, yes, that's right. I can use a line too. Thank you. Right, so what's going to happen is we're going to, we've got the line on our backdrop. And we can see that our backdrop is called playing field on the left hand side there. So when bear, we go to our code for bear. Let's go to the code. I clicked on bear at the bottom and I clicked on code. Right, we know we had bear down here. Hey? So when we go to bear, and by the way, his direction must be pointing to 90. So we're going to have him pointing to 90. Um, bear. His last bit of code right at the bottom. Can you see you can scroll all around all these pieces of code. There's lots of them that we've done over the last 15 days. We've done really lots of work. So when, when bear receives hide, remember yesterday we sent all the animals to hide. So they all did. They all hid. Okay. When I receive hide, we want to switch a backdrop to this playing field, this one. Okay, so let's go and switch backdrop to, at the moment it says blank grid, let's switch it to playing field, right? So we have to have that instruction. When everyone's hidden, then we switch a backdrop to playing field. And then I've got forever glide one second to random position. And if on edge bounce, but let's go and see what happens when I Click this code. Right now, you probably can't see this because of the. Can you see what happens now? He's not, he's going past the red line. We don't want him to go past the red line. No, we don't. And take note, this is going to carry on forever until we click this stop button. Stop. All right. Okay. And we've got here if on edge bounce. So forever he's going to glide to a random position and if on edge he will bounce but let's rather say if touching then he must bounce how are we going to do that so first of all let's go to see if we can find looks we've got go to layer go for no we don't want that one clear okay set change change that no no there's nothing in looks is there motion we can say glide to random. We've done that already. If on edge bounce, we got if on edge bounce from our motion blocks. But we're going to have to use an if statement rather. So let's go to our control. Control as if. So we can say if <clears throat> inside our loop forever, instead of putting this in there, if touching red. <clears throat> Sorry, if touching, sensing. If touching, color. Now we've got to go and put in a color there. Now that's going to be tricky. How are we going to choose a color that they're going to be touching? Right, so I'm going to go to my costume and check out that costume that I typed in that color that I put in there. Backdrops. Here is the color. You know, if I look at that color, <clears throat> it's color. So I don't know. It's, it's got to be it's color naught because that one is color seventeen. So it's color naught. Okay, that was the one that we used. So let's go back to our code for bear. Go back to code, and over here we're going to choose the color like that. We knew that it was saturation, color north, saturation 100, brightness 100. So I have to choose those numbers very carefully so that when, <clears throat> when, um, <coughs> when any of them touch that color, they've got to basically change their direction. And they've got to move another way. Are they going, is there a thing for bouncing? <coughs> we know we've got if on edge bounce. 
but can they actually change direction? Can they basically do a bounce? We've got to put a code in here that looks like this, but not an if on edge bounce. No, not that one. We're going to have another one. <coughs> Sorry, when I talk too much, this is what happens. I start coughing. <clears throat> we go to motions. <clears throat> So if they basically, we're going to make them turn to another direction. Now I wonder what should we put in here? <coughs> if we put in 180 degrees, that means they will turn. We're going to see what happens if we put in 180 degrees. Okay, so that's what we'll do. There's also a point towards, we can make them point towards. No, we're not going to make them point towards. There's no bouncing. There's only an if on edge bounce. There's no instruction to actually bounce. So we're going to see if turning, in other words, they're going to turn their direction that they're going to go. So we're going to click on this and see what happens. <clears throat> so it basically does work if he turns 180 degrees. Uh oh, but look there, it went right over. <coughs> so that's not right. We don't like that one. <clears throat> it's not going to work at all. Right. Um, so we have some input from our, our sweet little Hadia. Yes. Ma'am, uh, ma when you go to Tatin Kala, if you click on it, Mm -hmm. There on the bottom, there's like a thing. The biting color, where you change your color. Mm -hmm. It's like a thing. That the one. bottom stuff. Click on oh, it and then there. you... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You click on there and then you can go and choose the color. Yes, that's right. Well done. Well Look spotted. Well spotted. Go, you know the tricks, eh? All these little tricks of the trade, we call them. Anyway, I wonder if this turning 180 degrees, no, that doesn't want to go at all. That's not working. Maybe it's not, the line is not thick enough. <clears throat> Probably make it more thick and cover the, tr the yep. trees and house and everything. Yeah, maybe that's what we have to do. Hey, anyway, mm -hmm. so that's a nice little challenge for you guys to think about. We had it on if on edge bounds. And then we can also do if on if touching a color, we can do something. Um, I don't think turning 360 degrees is going to make <laughs> make any difference, because if you'll see, um, if I turn 360 degrees, let's see what he does with turn 360. Nope, that's not going to work at all. We can do a 90. We just want him to change direction, you know. Um, point in direction. So basically pointing in, in a direction, we can make him go backwards. Oh, he's also got to bounce. Yeah. He's got to do it. If on, he's, he's actually bouncing, isn't he? But he's moving to a random position, but there's no bouncing going on. He's just moving to a random position um, at the moment. If we go and say point in direction, um, we want him to go downwards. Okay. So if I choose that, I can use a um, 180, point in direction 180, and then you can go down. So let's go and see if that makes any difference. So we use point in direction, turn 90 doesn't, turn, turn doesn't work. So let's go, oh, nope, nope. Let's see, is he gonna do anything? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. <clears throat> if touching color is supposed to be doing something, we can test that touching color. Let's say we want him to, it is a forever if, you see? It's a forever if. So this forever loop might not be the correct one. We can make this game play, in other words, repeat it until we press the space key so let's repeat until 
we space the uh, press the space key as a repeat until remember we did a repeat before 10 times now we're going to do repeat until <coughs> so we can stop the game ourselves manually <coughs> with a space key or something so <coughs> sorry <coughs> sensing we go to sensing and we pre repeat until space is pressed okay so we repeat until that space key is pressed so this is going to happen all the time until the space key is pressed let's just get him in the right position <clears throat> uh there we go and if touching color we're going to um uh, change his direction <coughs> change direction because we want him to point uh, point in direction yeah. point in direction and we want him to point downwards from the line and if this doesn't work then we just make the red line thicker yeah repeat until space key is pressed yeah i don't think we're going to get this right hey we might have to use a background where He's not playing on a soccer field that they're actually going to be playing on a, on a, just a, a blank color like um, Adja suggested the other day. We're pointing in direction 180. <clears throat> He's supposed to point in direction 180. So we switch to uh, repeat until the space key is pressed. And if I press the space key, uh, come on. Okay, well, we're not going to worry too much about that. We're more worried about what's going to happen when Ben runs around the, the stage. Maybe we can even change our backdrop to a plain color. So we will use a plain color like a blue sky or, yeah, <clears throat> blue sky sounds good, hey? <coughs> or even a black, no, no, that, we won't be able to see Ben properly then. <clears throat> uh, blue sky is good enough. That one. So change to black backdrop, blue sky too. And then we don't have to worry about if he's touching the color. <coughs> and we can do our forever if. So we're rebuilding our code. We'll do forever. Let's get back to the basics. We just tried something there. So forever is going to glide to a random position. <clears throat> That's what B is going to do. Okay. Um, what is Ben going to do? That's the question. Ben's going to do the same thing. <clears throat> oh yes, he's also going to, we're also going to do the if on edge bounce because that works quite well. It's in sensing. Um, I'm sure you guys can play with this a lot. Um, and make a uh, lot of games with it. So we have him. <clears throat> when he's when I receive hide, we're going to basically set him up to go to the right place, just in case. Let's say motion go to. Make sure he's in the right place. Make sure he's pointing in the direction. And switch the backdrop. So he's going to that one. So if I click on this button, you'll see he starts off in the right place. So now we have basically a better playing field and you can make a program and try all sorts of things to make um, it happen so that they keep in the playing field. So you can do that on your own. But now we're going to get on to um, Ben. And this is, going to, this is a forever loop. So I have to click the stop button. So Ben's also going to be in a forever loop. And he's also going to say, when I receive hide, so Ben's, oh, we also have to go and make sure Ben has a mask on, not so. Ben must have his mask. So I think I'll make a yellow mask. I don't think anyone else has got a yellow mask. This is a nice greenish mask. It's also a nice color. So we will make him a green mask. It must cover his nose. Oops, I covered his eyes, but then, 
Right, so how do we put muscle? We have like a loop around the ears, don't we? Okay. So anyway, there's Ben with his mask. And um, we're not going to have him using any other costumes, so that's fine. It's just We're just doing a running costume for today. So his running costume, um, what we are going to do is we are going to have Ben, he's going to do the same thing as Bear. Okay. He's going to go to a place. Let's see if I can make the, the code copy. Hmm. Yes, I did. Yay. It worked this time. I copied that code in. I just basically went like this and waited for the sprite to bounce a little bit. Remember, we had a problem with that. It was quite tricky. I wanted to copy the code so I don't have to go and put all the pieces again together. So we want Ben to be in the right place. He's going to start off over there. Okay, so I'm going to make Ben start there. So his X value is 192. So 192. His Y value will be 136. 136. You'll point in the direction of... Should we make him point in that direction? No, we don't have to. We can keep him in this direction. Um, the backdrop is really switched, so we don't even have to do the backdrop because Bear will switch the backdrop. Now, what's going to happen? Ben's also going to glide. So I click on that, and you'll see Ben will be doing the same thing that Bear is doing. Okay, it's gliding to a random position. Now the game is going to be if Ben can catch Bear. Okay, Ben's going to catch Bear. So if he catches Bear, we want to count how many times he catches Bear. So we're going to have a counter going at the same time. So we're going to make a variable called count. So we make a variable, call it count. Click OK. Okay, there's count. We can see it. Hey? We'll be able to see it all the time while the program's running. I'm going to maximize the screen so you can see it. And if Ben touches Bear, we're going to add one to count. But before we do that, we must set count to naught. Okay, so we always start off with setting our count to naught. We start off at naught, not so we always going to, we call it initializing. And then inside our loop, we're going to add one to count. Every time Ben touches bear. Bring, bring one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what I mean? We're going to count. How do we count in programming? Well, first of all, you set a variable called count to naught. And then that's a very important thing to do. And then you're going to say, if touching bear, we're going to go to our um, sensing. We have to have an if statement. Actually, it's in the control is if. If touching bear, we're going to slot that thing there, if. And then inside our nice little shape, which I have still forgotten what to call it. If touching bear, let's go and find our sensing uh, block for touching. There it is. There it is. If touching which animal? Bear. So that was fun. So if touching bear, we're going to add one to count. How do we add one to count? Count starts from naught, and then this is what computers always start from naught, and then they go one, two, three. So variables, we're going to change count by one. Changing count by one means adding one to count. Count is a variable. We choose the variable from that list. See, we had lots of variables. And we change and count by one each time bear, um, uh, Ben touches bear. So I'm just going to click on this to make sure it works. Okay, All right, so he's doing it. Uh, he's not touching bear yet. <clears throat> We're gonna see if he does touch bear. Mm -mm -mm, not quite, no, mm. okay, fine. Right, let's go and get the whole ball rolling. In other words, get everything started. Let's see, where does it all start? It starts when Iris, when Hyde has been broadcast by Bear. B 
Bear tells everyone to hide, except for only Ben receives. When Ben receives hide, he starts moving. All the other animals hide when they, when they receive hide. Remember we did that? When I receive hide, then we had to hide and stop the script. But Bear, over here in this code, after the smallest is complete, okay, he broadcasts that he left the dog, hide, variable one, we, we hit some other variables and we stopped so, and he broadcast hide. So I'm going to click on this button, this one, and now we're going to see them do it. Do the game. Now Ben is going to try to touch bear. And if he touches bear, then count is going to be increased by one. Oh, I saw him touching. I saw it at twice. Why is count not being increased? Okay, let's go and check our code. We've got to do some troubleshooting here. Hey? Um, let's go and check our code because count is not being increased. Let's go and see. Let's stop this program because it's a forever if thing. Uh, ben, where did Ben? Ben was setting count to naught. Let us get rid of that and see what happens if we don't set count to naught. Um, count is automatically set to naught anyway, so we're fine there. Change count by one. That's adding an if touching bear. When it bounce. Okay, let's go and run it again. We always got to test our code. So. Oh, come on. Why aren't count not working? Come on, count. You've got to add one. Please do it for ma'am. Please. Oh, dear. Ma'am must have made a big mistake. Okay, let's go and fix. Fix, fix, fix. So I'll stop the program. Let's see what is going on here. So we have count. Count is there. We said count, change count by one. And bear, and he's definitely touching bear, isn't he, when he bounces. So if on edge bounce, and then we have the question, if touching bear, then change count by one. Hmm. I'm not impressed. I'm so not impressed. That should be working 100%. We should have count adding one to count each time. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use another method for changing count. I'm going to say set count to. And then I'm going to use an operator. Count plus one. Where's my plus, 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 plus. Set count equal to count. Yes, I know uh, I just going to have some uh, awesome words to say. Maybe she can help us solve the problem. Hey, Hadja. Let's see. So forever glide and if he's touching. So in that forever loop, we set our count equal to count plus one. And let's go and see if Hadja has an answer. Ma'am, can't you make one of them there or Ben um, use um, the key arrows? If what? Say it again. Can we use one of there or Ben to use the key arrows? The key what? What arrows. keys? Arrows. Arrows. The key arrows. Key up. Yeah, the one that goes up, down, left, right, the key arrow. Oh, oh I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, that's just another way to play the game. Yes. Oh, you can do that if you want, lovey. But I'm just trying to do the easy way, you know, forever, just going forever and ever. Uh, and I used a random position because I don't want to be worried because it'll take too long to program that. But this definitely should be working. The count should have one added to it while. It is running. So I'm going to do this again. Um, there we go. And let's maximize the screen and figure out why. It could be that we need to save, but no, that's not actually working. Count should be counting there right now. We can try another variable because Ben and Bear are definitely touching at some point. Yeah, I see. 
they're touching. So there's a little bit of a glitch on this. And I do not see anything wrong with my code. Um, so you can try this at home and see if you have the same issues, but that should definitely be working. Um, I'm going to save this program file, save to my computer. I'll share it with you right now. And anybody who wants to, uh, I'm going to let you share your screens in a minute. Yes, Chevelle. Okay, it's half past 10, so we're going to start sharing screens just now. Ma'am? Yes, Chevelle. Ma'am, yesterday I was not sharing the lesson. May you please send me yesterday's lesson? Okay. Um, do you have an email address or do you want to get it from the chat? From the chat. Yeah, and you can also see it on the YouTube channel, but I can give you the program code. But you see, the program code that we got now is yesterday's lesson with this little extra bit. So every time we have a lesson, I've been building on the same program. So if you get the today's program, it's all of yesterday's and all the all the pro it's all the code that we've done right from day one. So okay. get today's program, and then you've got all of it in one. Okay. So I'll put it on the chat window now. That's what I'm busy doing. If you can get it from the chat window, otherwise email me, arquin at, at africateengeeks.co.za. I'll put the email address up just now. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, um, yeah, I think that should help. Yes, Sadia? Can I share my screen? Can I share my screen? Um, just now, just hang on. I first want to send the, send the uh, to everyone in the meeting, I'm sending the file quickly for this program and we haven't quite finished because we still have to go and get uh, Bear to tell everybody to come back to their places and Bear must go back to his place as well. So that's gonna be a bit of an issue. We have to fix that up. But I think maybe, maybe we will let people share their screens now, because it's 10.32. Okay, I've sent Bear Walk Lesson 15. And the challenge could be that you can now go and take this program and fix it and do what you want with it. And remember that it's the program for all the 15 lessons that we have done so far. Now, um, Afua has raised his hand. Yes, Please Afua. is a shame. Pardon? Please, it's a she. Who is a she? Oh, Afua. Sorry. Sorry, Afua. You're a girl. It's okay. Sorry, Please, I'd like to ask a question. Yes, you can ask a question. For the afternoon meeting. Pardon? For the afternoon meeting, can we really share like a program? No, uh, only the names of the people that I have submitted. So, but they, I don't know if they will okay. even be allowed to share. But you can share today if you want. But I'm first going to get um, a couple of others to share first. OK? OK. OK. But please, I have one question. Since this is the last day of. Yeah. yeah, this is the last day. And this afternoon, everybody, this afternoon, be at the meeting at quarter past two. Quarter past two, not, not three or four or whatever. OK? So I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. And okay. then. Um, uh, uh, Hadja has been wanting to share her screen, so I'll ask the uh, host to allow Hadja to share. Please, thank you. Hi, hi, Irene. Uh, Nadia can share her screen now. Okay, okay, Hadja, you can share. You heard, you heard, sir. And you want you want to show us, Lavi? Oh, you wrote a program. That's cool. Yay! There's an error. There's a there's SpaceX. SpaceX flight. Very nice, sweetheart. Does the game play? 
Oh, you got your score there as well. Cool. This is going to do something. Okay, we can't actually hear you talking, sweetheart. Okay, it looks very promising, lovey. Ooh, that's lots of code, okay. eh? Okay. Okay, but yeah, it's locked, but it's just talking most of it. Okay. Oh, I see. You got um, people talking. Welcome to the joke show. Hello. Wait a minute. Mistake. That's very nice, lovey. Show. You're going to be a programmer, hey? Yes. Yes, you will be. Yay. Go. Is it fun if I just put it here so that you understand? Because the voice is too squeaky. Yeah, um, we're going to not spend too much time because we have to let other people share too because there's quite a few. So okay. if we just quickly... Welcome to the joke show. Hello, my name is Anne and I hope you will like it. Why did the boy throw the clock out of the window? He was probably naughty. Because he wanted time to fly. <laughs> Sorry, wait. No, that's fine. Thank you, Adia. We can see you've done lots okay. of work. Okay, so okay, we... I'll close it. Yeah, that's a lot of work, Lavi. I can see you've been working very hard. Okay, um, Demba. Demba, would you like to share? Demba, are you there, Lavi? Would you like to share your screen? So we can see oh, any dear, program that you've written. So let us know, Lavi. Afua. Yes, Afua, you got your hand up. Okay, um, uh, Ajay, you must put your, uh, must not stop sharing now. And Afua, I'm going, I think Afua wants to share her screen. Yes, please, but it says the host has disabled participant screen sharing. Okay, do you have a program to, to share with us? Uh, or not? Uh, Fu, are you ready to share? Yes, please. I wanted to ask you about the email because when I even open Scratch on Zero Blocks, I can't, I can't open the lesson. So for the past few weeks, uh. I wasn't able to open your lesson. Yep. Well, you have you have to have um, you have to have yeah. You, know, you can download it goes to downloads folder, but you have to open your Google Chrome or any browser, and then you have to yes, open search for MS Zora. Have you logged into MS Zora yet? Please, MS Zora. Yes, you have to log into MS Zora first. Uh, I think you said Scratch and Zora, but... If you've got Scratch on your computer, then you can open the program. Uh, there you've got MS Zora. Then you say file, load from, from uh, file, load from. You say file and then load from computer. Please, when I say load from computer... Go up to file. There's a word file. I don't know whether you can see my mouse, but anyway, there's a word file. file there. Yes, click on it. Load from your computer. Yes. And then you can go to downloads. Downloads folder, downloads. Yes. And then there you see there's Bearwalk. Now click on that and click open. And there it is. Magic. <clears throat> okay. So Thank you. The pleasure, lovey. Now you can unshare your screen. Do you have you don't have a program to share with us, eh? Because uh, we're gonna let other people share their programs that they wrote now. So that's good. I'm glad we learned how to do that, eh? Hey? Right, so you can stop sharing your screen now. And I'm going to see there was Africa had his hand up, but I actually wanted Demba. Where isn't Demba? Demba, are you there, sweetheart? Are you able to share your screen? Okay, I don't see Norwazi over here. Before I, st I let you talk, Africa, there was Norwazi um, wanted to share a screen. 
Oh, William and James. Oh, you're going to share your screen. Okay, but let's just see what Africa has to say quickly. Okay, Africa. Mom, are we done yet? Uh, you're not done yet. Oh, no, no, we're not done. No, no, we're not done. Okay, we're going we're gonna to see um, some, we're trying to see everybody's programs. I don't see Mkhlova here. And I don't see, oh, Maguere. Okay, okay Maguere, you're going to be next. William and James. Um, uh, not yet, Hadja. We'll see how far we get with the other children. So, William and James, um, I'll ask you to share your screen because you said you're ready. Okay, so the organize the host can allow William. Well, no. Yes, William and James can share now. Thank you. William and James, are you able to share your screen? Uh, we don't know how. Oh, you click on the bottom of Zoom and go to share screen. Okay. Okay. And then click on the window that's, you just click on the screen one or screen one or screen two, okay. the one that is highlighted and just click share. You're going to do your one first, William? Yes. William's first. Yay. Ma'am? Yes. Okay. Right. Yes, William's Okay, let's see your code quickly. Okay. It's very simple. Oh. That's okay. for the dinosaur. Mm -hmm. And this is for the um, the sprite. Oh, yeah, because you've got lots of costumes, eh? You've got like a whole lot. Show your costumes for your sprite one. This is for the um, main sprite. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, they change. Okay, okay. And this. And, and the dinosaur, dinosaur changes. Okay. Right, so it's all about the costume changes and so on. Well done. Thank you, William. Okay, so now we'll get James to share. Okay. <coughs> Thank you, sweetheart. That's lovely. We are going to see James's program and then we can go on to Maguere. Hope you're ready. And also uh, Demba, because Demba said he would also want to share. Oh, you got James program there also. Okay, cool. Which one? You go, yeah. Replacing you, you do replace. It does replace when you when you you can say you've already saved it, so you can load from your computer. And when you choose one, and then you click open, and then you say okay for replacing it. Okay, this is my animation that I made. Mm -hmm. It's like diary of a wimpy kid. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, let's look at your code, Lovey. That looks interesting. It looks like a lot of stuff that you had to do there to make that happen. This, is, cool. this is just the simple for the donuts. Yeah. And this is Jimmy who died. And then this is his brother who um, was at his funeral. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of code for him. Mm -hmm. Wait. That's quite wait. a lot of code, eh? Yeah. We got some and sound and some action. Here's the just is to words. Mm hmm. And other words, some other words. Hey, yeah, there's a lot of coordination and making sure that you send messages and receive. Yeah, lots yeah. of work went into that. Well done, these sweetheart. My, and these are my drawings. Yeah, I see that you drew the pictures. You can have you, you and William and Hadia and um, lots of others are going to be good programmers one day. Very good, because you're starting at a young age. We right, so, oh, there's a sound. Open. 
Can we play another one for you? Uh, very quickly, because we're going to get others yeah. learners also. Woo! He's playing ball. Okay, he was hitting the ball, eh? Hey? <laughs> so that's the same. That's that's basically like Williams, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. All right. So well done, boys. Keep up the good work. Let's go and share someone else's screen now. Um, we had Demba. Demba, I'm asking you to unmute. Okay. Can uh, you want to share screen, Demba? Ma'am, I'm busy searching on my laptop. Oh. I was busy using my tablet. All right. Okay. And then we had, we'll wait for you. Okay. Then Ryan. Yes, Ryan. So, um, the Gmail is, is working now. So, okay. um, can you send the your the link to your thing because i just finished ma making the code that i wanted to show you yeah so what you need to do is email it and i'm put my email address over here in the in the in the chat i'll type my email you must email it to me thank you But I don't know if I'll be able to share. Um, maybe if you send it right now. <laughs> if you send it right now. Africa Teen Geeks. I can at Africa Teen Geeks. If you send it right now, then I might be able to receive it and then share it. Um, otherwise, we'll have to wait. You know, uh, I, I, don't, I won't be able to because this is our last lesson. And Demba, are you able to share anything, lovey? Because we, I have your name, Dania, and I have your um, Nawazi's name also. I have Nawazi's name also down here to share, but I don't see you in the room. So, Hadia, you said you had another program that you wanted to share. Okay, Ryan, um, I'm going to wait for your email, and then I can play your program unless you want to share it now on the screen. And uh, uh, the meeting is at quarter past two. Afua, I see you sent me an email. I just wanted to tell you the meeting is at quarter past two this afternoon, not at three. So it's at quarter past two. Oh, Magwede, thank you, Magwede. Have you got a, a, a screen to share, Lavi? Yes, I, I have got your name down here. And Amanda, where are you, sweetheart? Let's see. Um, can we share your screen now, Magwede? Uh, on Amanda. Are you able to share your screen now? Because um, then the organizers will give you that option. I can't seem to find Maguede on the list of participants here. Oh, it uh, says Maguede, Maguede. He's in the chat room. Oh, yes, there yeah, I found him. Okay. Okay, uh, Unamanda. His name is Unamanda. Are you able to share your screen now, Unamanda? Then the organizers will allow you to. And the same with Ndemba, because I can't see Ndemba is not giving instruction to share screens. Okay, I'm trying to help Mark Wede to share his screen. I'll just oh. let him know to share right now. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. All right, so Hadia, you say you've got another program. We had two or three programs from William and James, so I guess we can get Hadia to share another program, but in the meantime, I don't know, but um, a host is busy now. Um, I'm thinking that maybe I'll share my screen again and we can finish our other program in the meantime while we're waiting. Well, we've got 10 minutes. Just remember everybody who has been in the room that at quarter past two today, we will have the special meeting where your certificates handed out if, if you applied for them. 
uh, attendance certificates uh, online. And some learners will uh, be sharing their program. We have talks from very important people. And that will be very in, in, uh, inspiring for us. And all of you that have taken part in our lessons, it has been, I'm sure you've learned something. And if you just you watch it. Just, uh, unmuted me. Okay. okay. Is this um, an Amanda? I think Amber? Um, I'll put yes, my query can share a screen now. Yay. Yes, I know the email said 3 p.m., but it's actually changed now, Ipe, to 2.15. Please tell your mom. Yes. And Amanda, is this your screen, Ravi? Well, that looks yes. nice. There's a garden. Okay, let's make it run. Is it running? Yay. What's happening? Ah, I see a bat. Here comes a bat. He's went from the garden to the city here. Yeah? Now he's hanging upside down. Oh no, he's back by the tree. Cool. Come here. Yo, show us your code, Amanda. That looks very nice. You got the code. Wow. So you got repeat, wait, move, repeat, wait, move, and you switch costume, hey? That's very good. So now you can make even more programs now and have more fun. Thank you very much for that, Amanda. Even gave the backdrop. Oh, it switches backdrops. Yes, you switch backdrops too. Wow. This is exciting. So you can do whatever you want, eh? It's just by using all the buttons. And then go back and watch the YouTube videos if you want to um, remind yourself of anything on the lesson. On the lessons okay. we've done. Good. Good, sweetheart. Thank well you. Done. And thank you for sharing. Okay, so um, you got a nine minute warning a week. Okay. <laughs> thank you, sweetheart. Okay, um, so Ndemba, I'm assuming you don't want to share right now. And Adya is really wanting to share. So, um, we're going to let Hadia share your screen again. Okay, so you're going to stop sharing your screen now. Um, and Amanda, just stop sharing your screen. I'm very impressed with your, with your program. You've, you've done good. Uh, Ipe wanted to talk. So let's unmute Ipe. Yes, Ipe. Then what time did you say the meeting was? Uh, quarter past two. And I put the link in the chat room, chat window. I'll put it in again just now. Okay. Now I'm just going to share this. Okay. Oh, who is this? Oh, Hadja. Yeah. It's Hadja, I just got a message from Ron. Right. Oh, yeah, we saw this, Hadja. I just got a message. No, not the whole thing. The whole thing in there. Yeah, but, but I'm actually running out of time. I've changed my mind because you know why? why? I, just got, I just got a message from Ryan now to say that his program is ready and he wanted to share it quickly before we stop. So, okay. Oh, I know. But we could see those hundreds of lines of code, girl. You're going to be a powerful programmer one day. You're really good. You've been doing lots of work and I'm very impressed. Thank you, lovey. I mean, thank you for you. Wait, you know? I'll just share the file. Yeah, you can share the file. Oh, no, no, why well, I want to give your program away? You spent so many hours on it. <laughs> but if you want to share it, that's very generous of you. Okay, Ryan, you want to share your screen, Lovey? Um, can you open I want I can. Can you try it? Because I wanna I want you to I wanna Yeah, I've got the code here yeah, and I will open it. I hope it, it's not is it is it um is it good? Codes. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Huh? Save as. Okay, I'm going to save it onto my computer. I got your email. And I will save it onto my computer quickly. And I will open it on my computer quickly. And then I will um, share the screen. I'm just upset about um, Demba and uh, Norwazi haven't told me that they want to share their screen. 
Okay, I'm just getting your code loaded up quickly. And we have six minutes to go. It shouldn't take that long. <laughs> You'd be surprised, my computer's very slow. Right, so there, I've got your code here. I'm gonna run it quickly. <laughs> so move okay. your mouse around on the screen. Yeah, oh, must I? Okay, I'm going to share my screen now so that I can show everybody. What's wrong with me? I've forgotten how to share a screen. I, it, no, I just made this for fun because like I I was I wanted to have fun while doing it. Okay, can you see it now? Now click start and then mo start moving your mouse around. Oh, I see. <laughs> the okay. code is actually very simple. Yeah, yeah. This is really cool, actually, guys. But it only lasts so long because it doesn't allow you to do to just continue it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see if that. If you want to quickly share the code, you can. Oh, you're so sweet. OK. This is so funny. So it, will, it keeps on moving, and it will yeah if you your stop mouse. your mouse then but if you don't use your mouse then it's going to keep on moving oh, oh okay okay it's following the mouse it's following the mouse yeah. guys this is fun code okay ryan says we can share that it's very sweet of him he's going to share his code so i'm going to download it and then i'll share it in the chat window and this is literally barely difficult okay let's look at the code quickly shall we um, look at it. it says repeat 500 times create clone oh you're using clone myself and then once it's done all that it will stop and as well as the same time it moves and it can and it follows the mouse pointer that's okay. what it does oh that is so cool wow the cloning clone this and, and then once the cloning is done it will shut down the whole program right i'm sure everybody wants to have this program so you're happy with everyone sharing with everyone so you don't yeah. Good. I'm going to go and share it now in the chat window so everyone can have fun with that. So all of you boys and girls have been doing such a wonderful job. They have shared it. And then also the link to the meeting this afternoon at uh, 2... 2... Uh, 2.15, time has changed. Please be advised about the time change. And those of you who were put your name down to share, just be ready um, to share if they ask you to. And uh, I can't say who it will be. Unfortunately, that's not, I can't uh, say who it would be. So I've got Ndemba and uh, Unamanda and Hadja and um, William and James and uh, Mark Patrick McClawber, McClawber, but he's not in the room right now. And yeah, and Demba and Norwazi is also not in the room right now. Anyway, if you're at the meeting, just be ready in case they want you to share, okay? And if you don't want to share, you can also just say something about um, the whole lockdown lesson or what you thought of it and all that. So um, it is now 10.58. Guys, I learned so much from from uh, being here, teaching you. You taught me a lot. I really enjoyed uh, being with you. And yeah, I'm going to miss you all. But I know you're going to be good and safe and you're going to take care of yourselves and all your loved ones. And also, you're all going to be amazing programmers one day. Every one of you, even if you don't, Oh, Hadja, Hadja shared a program with us. Thank you, Hadja. She's also shared a program. And yeah, thank you. She shared it in the chat window. So yeah, you're all going to be amazing programmers one day because you started in grade four. Can you imagine how much you can learn when you get to grade 12? What you can do, you can really move mountains and do amazing things. So um, this is, a, this is a, just the beginning. And You'll move on to other programming languages and everything, the rules of programming like start and stop, you basically will um, use all of those rules right through to 
you know, starting something and stopping something, having that rule where you start and you must have an end and all those little things, you'll remember them and have fun. Yeah, you can write so many nice programs. You decide what you want to do with your um, program and then you make it happen and, and you don't stop until you make it happen. You just keep searching, keep searching, looking. All right, Chevelle had her hand up. Yes, sweetheart. Anyway, I'm going to miss you guys. And like, seriously. Yes, Chevelle. Ma'am, is today the last day of the lesson? Yes, it is, unfortunately. I'm even, I mean, my eyes are like, no, my eyes are watering. Yeah, that's okay, the last. ma'am. And yeah, we're going to, oh, yeah, and thanks to our host. Uh, our super awesome administrator who's been helping us with all the sharing and making sure you guys are all like being cool in the chat room. And we love, I love you too very much, sweetheart. And um, yeah, I hope you learned something. I'm sure you did. I mean, even if you're just watching the videos, you learn something eventually. Thank you, Pranon. So same to you, sweetheart. You also did good. You like, seriously, just being here, your time, you know, you spend some time doing something constructive instead of watching, instead of playing games. Okay, we're making a game. Remember, programmers can make a game. Um, I have a rule in, well, sometimes the RT teachers have a rule in their classroom, like, you can only play a game if you've actually written that game. <laughs> so you can make your own games with Scratch. And that is the fun part. Okay, so yeah, and that program, we're gonna have to just fix it a bit, eh? We'll have to fix up. Oh, it's 11.01. Bye bye, everybody. And uh, take care. And